Here, we're going to review deployment of the Minx grip. This is what you get in the package. It's very simple. When you open it up, you have two components. This is the device. And this is the syringe. To get prepared, you want to fill the syringe with about 3 cc's of saline or contrast. And then you're going to hook it up to the back portion of the device. The first step is to test the device. So while the stopcock is open, you're going to push on the syringe and you can see that the balloon inflates. If we look at the back end of the device, you can see white, black, white, and that indicates full balloon expansion. Then we just pull back on the syringe to make sure that the balloon is collapsed. You don't need to lock it, you can just leave the syringe in its neutral position. Now the device is ready to deploy. Now we're going to take the device and insert it into the sheath, hold it close to the tip so that you can push it into the sheath, and then keep inserting until you reach the white marker. You can see the white marker here. and you're going to insert it until the white marker reaches the hub of the sheath. This means that the balloon is in the vessel, so we're going to take our syringe and inflate, and then you can lock your stopcock. At this point, you'll see white, black, white at the back of the device, as you see here and this means that the balloon is inflated inside the lumen of the vessel. Now we're going to pull back on the black handle of the device. This is going to pull back on the balloon through the lumen toward the sheath. You're going to feel two stops as you reach the arteriotomy, and then at this point you're holding tension with the black part of the handle. The balloon is just inside the arteriotomy. Now you're going to advance the green shuttle down until it reaches its final stop right here. Then you grab onto the sheath and pull it back all the way. Now you have this tube along the suture. You're going to hold onto the white tube and walk it down while holding tension on the black handle. This pushes the polyethylene glycol plug down toward the arteriotomy. Once the plug reaches the bottom, you can see that you have a green marker showing here. We're going to hold in this position for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, we're going to wait for another 90 seconds. Now through the magic of editing, We've waited the 90 seconds, we're ready to move on. So at this point, while keeping the stopcock closed, you're going to pull negative on the syringe. This just makes it easier for the next step. Now you're going to open the stopcock. This collapses the balloon on the inside. On this model, I have to hold pressure at the arteriotomy site, but in reality, you don't. It would be held by subcutaneous tissue. Then just pull the device straight out and hold manual hemostasis at the site for about one minute. Looking at the arteriotomy, we have the polyethylene glycol plug on the outside. and then on the inside, there's nothing because the balloon came out. The polyethylene plug will stay in place for about 30 days 
and it'll dissolve completely by hydrolysis.